Previously on Travel Beans, we discovered the joys of boondocking in the popular town of Sedona. So yesterday we woke up to coyotes and today we wake up to sunrise over the mountains. It's not bad. However, as time went on, we had to hit the road yet again in search of somewhere new. We have just driven through the historic city of Flagstaff. It's very American. It reminds me a little bit of if you've been to Disney and when you walk into Disney, you go through Main Street. Every <laughs> Disneyland usually has a Main Street and it, and it kind of looks like a movie set. Mm. But the same with here, like people actually live here and live in these weird ass houses. As much as we love to explore Flagstaff, we basically have three options right now. One, we can stay and explore here. Two, we can drive to the Grand Canyon, but it's the third that we're going towards mm -hmm. that I just couldn't turn down. Not far from here is a real meteor crater. <laughs> like an actual mile wide crater in the ground from a meteor. <laughs> All three options sound great, but there is only one clear and obvious winner for me. And that is we've got to make our way to this crater. But before that, I need to find myself some food. When I saw a hot dog drive through place <laughs> along Route 66, I mean, you're a better man than I if you're turning that down. There's a drive through hot dog place. And it's tiny. It's so cute, the building, isn't it? It's like a weird little triangle place. It's basically just a drive through and our van is too big to go through it. I am very critical of the dog in America but I'm always willing to change my mind. Mm -hmm. There's two options here at the hot dog place. You've got an original hot dog, which apparently originally it's a mixture of chicken and pork. And the, and the other option is an all meat or beef hot dog. We asked them for the best and he said the beef. I probably would have gone with the beef if he said the original because chicken and pork together. <laughs> it's a weird combo. Also, just to show you something very cool on the side. Which I'm excited about. It's tater tots. Yes. It's just a different weird shaped form of potato. I guess these are kind of like sort of mini hash browns. Mm -hmm. Is that the best way to describe them? That's exactly what they are. But acceptable mm. any time of the day, not only breakfast. Mm. This is your first proper tot as well, isn't mm. it? Mini hash brown, love it. Yeah, it's great. I, so I went for the chili cheese dog because it's just such a great name. Oh God. Like, I mean, it. <laughs> like when you open it, it doesn't. I mean, I can't even see the dog, but appetizing isn't necessarily the word <laughs> that I would say. Oh, this. I'm not even going to say what that looks like. <laughs> I know exactly what that looks it. like. Maybe it tastes better than it looks. Okay, the smell's good. Like, yeah. The first smell is like this nice green chili hit. Oh, but look at all of it. Like, I mean, I don't like soggy bread. Well, you, well, you got it. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Also, when I was ordering the chili cheese dog, I didn't know exactly what I was ordering. Oh, every bit that you touch is wet. <laughs> <laughs> Make it into like a wrap, I guess. Like, a, how do you I eat this? Just, yeah. How do you yeah. eat this, guys? So the green chilies along with like the sauce and everything, really nice. Honestly, couldn't fault it. Okay. But it comes down to the age old thing that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> and <laughs> the dog is still a dog at the end of the day. I mean, okay, look, come and have a look. Hopefully you guys can see what I mean here. Yeah. I mean, just oh, look how, like, yeah. just look at it. It's not a sausage. It's not a sausage. <laughs> it's a dog. It's very different from a sausage. I've had a lot of, hot dogs in the USHD over the years and I just don't understand why they're so popular here and every time I go in like I oh, know I should try it again because there's gonna be a reason so much good food here but the dog just I mean I love in all the stuff on the top it's like you've done the hard work you've made an interesting hot dog but why is the sausage the cheapest piece of meat you can find and this is one of the best places around so like I know that this isn't like cheap meat well, I mean, it is cheap meat, but, is. but I mean, it's rated highly by people, isn't it? Second bite, I can, I mean, it's not really a compliment as such, it's, it's really good. And the, all of the stuff on top is so good and so flavorful that it overrides the dog. So in all in all, it's great. But the thing that's letting it down is actually the dog. So if Make no mistake. They made the same thing with all the same toppings, but with a good sausage. Or just with a sausage. <laughs> that would be perfect. <laughs> Woo!
Um, you've been complaining to my ears for the last 30 minutes. Tell them. Uh, <laughs> I am. This is genuinely the most scared I've been whilst driving anything because the wind is crazy. It's like trying to blow us off the road. <laughs> it's like the universe is like, no, you shouldn't go and see the crater, but we're going anyway. Um, yeah, the wind is like right alongside us. I have no idea what the speed is, but it is crazy. It's like I'm having a wrestling match with the wind. <laughs> But I guess, look how flat this land is. It's, there's nothing to stop with the wind. It just like sweeps through. Oh my God, that child's buggy almost got blown over. Whoa. Those parents both had to like hold it, like two of them. The child, they've taken the child out of it now. That's crazy. <laughs> what, so the child was yeah, in it? the child was in it and it was like getting blown against the fence and they were both like trying to pull it back. This is not normal. Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm anxiously worried we're gonna come out. Um, do you wanna try and park closer to the building, like out of the wind? <laughs> you look like you've just been in a fight with a bear. <laughs> I feel a bit like it. I'm actually exhausted, like, trying to stay upright <laughs> in that wind. Oh, but... <sighs> I don't want to die. <sighs> oh my goodness, the whole van is moving. So when we were in there and we first came in after going outside on the viewing platform, one of the guys working there saw my disheveled appearance <laughs> and told me that actually the wind speeds got up to i think he said 105 mile an hour this morning which sounds crazy we could not go out there with a the microphone on the top of the camera it would have just blown off um so we have no sound bites from out there but it was absolutely mental there was I, rocks and stones flying in people's faces yeah i got hit in the face with a bit of someone's sunglass which i've just found in my pocket i forgot about that <laughs> Um, yeah, it was just really, really crazy out there. Like, it was amazing to see the crater, like the sheer size of it, because the meteor that actually hit the ground was 45 meters across, whereas the actual hole, or the, the crater, is 1,200 meters across. So, I mean, it's pretty mind blowing when you see it, but it was really hard because the wind was so distracting. <laughs> <laughs> and, and actually the sound of the wind going into the crater and like whipping up was deafening. It was really, really loud. My observations are always a little bit different. <laughs> and the first one, I'm going to quickly take you into a cubicle in the bathrooms of America. I hate in America <laughs> going to the bathroom. It's the worst feeling. Honestly, don't treat yourself to a sit down wee here because <laughs> they're going to be peering in. Everyone has these huge slats. Every bathroom I've been to here, Big like it's getting ridiculous. Yeah. Like who in America is asking for this and why? Why is this the only country <laughs> where you're allowed to see each other pooing? <laughs> like it gets me angry. <laughs> I can hear the disdain in your voice. As someone who suffers with IBS, <laughs> the last thing I need is some morbidly obese man on a push cart coming through the bathroom, knocking on the door, or just looking in. What's going on in here? What do you think, mate? I'm crying. 
crying right now. The other thing that I want to talk to you about is that every time we go to anywhere in the world, everywhere has a gift shop. And I hate gift shops. Basically, I always avoid them. Every country, people just spend so much money in gift shops. And as we were leaving today, I said to Emma, did we just quickly look at the gift shop? <laughs> Never do that. <laughs> Uh oh! I'm part of the crew, but I'm actually really excited to show you my haul of things that I got. <laughs> so today is my dad's birthday, so I actually got a bunch of things for him, but I still thought the stuff was really cool, so I want to show you. Yeah, also, just a side note, your dad is like a huge space geek. He loves yep. anything related to space or meteors or anything. When you told him you were coming here today, he was super jealous. Super jealous, and he, I didn't know about this place. He said, oh, you mean the place in Arizona? Uh, it's this wide, it's this many years old. <laughs> like, he knew all of it. So the first thing that I got him, and I think this is really, really awesome, is an actual piece of meteor. Now, I mean, this could be a scam, like they're just selling rocks. But for 30 bucks, they have a range of prices there, but this is the most beautiful one I found. For 30 bucks, I've got a piece of rock from space. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Actually, even like at the place, they have a pe like a meteor there that you can touch, don't you? And I was sticking my fingers in it. <laughs> I put my finger in a space hole. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is this cool little t-shirt that Emma found. Again, for my dad, he likes t-shirts. He wears them all the time. <laughs> and uh, it's basically a record player and space. And also your dad's in a band, isn't he? So he's like... So all the boxes ticked. And then finally, <laughs> and this really made me laugh, we're waiting in the queue, I'm about to pay. Something catches the corner of my eye and I say, ooh, what's this ever? Was it a And sweet? I show her no. this. Oh. I mean, I still don't actually know what it is, but I bought it for $30. <laughs> I don't, I think it's just like a, just a cool decorative sign? thing to hang on the wall. I wasn't sure if it's a chopping board because it had like this wooden bit on the side. Yeah, I think like, at the top you can see, you can, there's a hole there so you can uh, hang it on the wall. And it says it's a sign. Okay, I, I mean, I, I don't know what you think, I can't see you, but I think this looks really cool. And look how exciting. Look at the little alien. <laughs> you got the space bit, the alien bit, Arizona, like, oh, I just, what do you think? <laughs> I love it. I wish I had money to go to souvenir shops now, I love it. <laughs> calling it, for me, anyone that's coming to the US and you need somewhere to stay, Flagstaff. This is where you're staying. <laughs> if any of the things you liked on this trip, we've got the crater, we've got Grand Canyon, you've got Sedona, and easily within a day's trip, you could do Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend, all from Flagstaff. And then Flagstaff itself is pretty cool. If you're coming to America, that's where you're staying, okay? <laughs> okay. I won't look at you again because it's too windy. <laughs> drive last night was crazy. <laughs> I did definitely fear for my life at points. There was snow, there was so much wind, the car oh. was moving all over the place, so I was worried about ice. Yeah. Just all in all, not a fun experience. Bad combination. Ice, snow and gusts of wind, 40 plus mile an hour. Not good. But that said, like everything with the US, there's so many beautiful pockets of yeah. nature and as we were driving, <laughs> the sun at the horizon looked like fire against Mordor. <laughs> We were driving towards it, it was insane. <laughs> it was really crazy, really, really beautiful. So the reason we pressed on and drove all night was because we wanted to make it to the outskirts of Joshua Tree, which is where we're spending our last day today. So if you would like to watch that video, make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure you subscribe. Also, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment. What is the windiest day of your <laughs> life? And what is the most dangerous conditions you've driven in? Beans out! <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and goodbye, everybody. <laughs> next time on Travel Beans. Like, look at this little goat-like one over here. <laughs> look at it. What are you talking about? It looks like a llama made out of balloons. <laughs> Which one? The llama, the obvious llama, look at the it. The obvious llama. Ears 
head, fluffy brown body. <laughs> Come off it. <laughs>